Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Little Miss Awesome. I know I've been away for a while, it's because I was so busy with this semester and overwhelmed with like both school and work. So that's why I've been off like from the YouTube video me. Well, I haven't stopped making videos. I had to make a lot of videos for class. My eyelids are oily. It's okay. I have an oily skin. But if you wanna, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment. You can even dislike, but subscribe. I don't care. But yeah, if you wanna learn how to make these fuck drods, drods, <laughs> dreads, stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you guys like this and it is beginner friendly because this is also my first time learning how to do these so I decided to film them so hope you guys try it try it and tag me on my Instagram because I really want to see how you guys dreads come out since mine's came out alrighty okay guys I put my hair up because I can't no more I can't the 4C struggle, I can't no more. Anyways, the the bundles. <laughs> the hair that I'm about to use to do these locks is Locks Twist Braids Canicolon. And I got this at my local beauty supply store and it was five. Oh shit, yeah, I can't see it. It was $5.99. Not too bad. And I also got the jumbo braids to like you gonna see it. I can't explain it. It's hard for me to explain it, but jumbo box box braids. Jumbo braids that I will use to like pretty much direct the lock or twist the lock around it, if that makes sense. So let's get to it. You know I started off by parting my hair as evenly as possible. Then I took the braid in here and what I did was kinda like twisted before I started braiding it onto my natural hair because I find it easier if it's you twist it you could direct the hair more like better yeah so it doesn't matter how the braid turns out because after you braid it you're gonna wrap the Marley hair around it so nobody will see the actual braid so you could go crazy with it you can make it as messy as you want it doesn't matter because it's going to be wrapped I know I said it already, but I'm gonna say it again. I braid my hair all the way down to my natural hair, and then I stop. So I'm here editing the video, right? And I lost. Shut the fuck up, Creed. I lost most of the footage with me doing these locks, and I'm frustrated. ASF. Like. I don't understand how I lost them and it's making me so upset. So I'm going to just continue this video. I'm going to upload it. There's no way I'm not going to upload it because I feel like I worked so hard on it. So please forgive me because I'm about to be walkie with this editing. I'm about to be chop, chop, like chopping up this video because like I can't. Okay, so I'm going to refer to my blonde marley well it's braiding hair but i'm gonna refer to it as marley hair because it has that marley hair texture so what i'm doing right here is pretty much wrapping it all the way around making it as tight as possible because if it's not tight it will like unravel itself and just be too messy to add hair after you finish like one length you just put it on top of the other hair and just start wrapping it like how you were wrapping it before in another upcoming video I'm gonna give more detail on how it started but this is how you wrap the hair around and you could get as messy as you want just make sure it's tight because if it's not tight it won't look natural and right here pretty much I got overwhelmed with braiding my hair so I went to my sister's mom and she helped me so this is how you start it you pretty much start wrapping it like any wrap like I don't really know how to like full-on explain it you just wrap and as you can see 
I didn't do a 100% job because you could see the black braid in here, but that's okay because I actually went back in and rewrapped all the black parts that you could see. So as you can see, I'm using my thumb to pretty much direct me unwrapping it. And I also use my thumb and my index finger to hold the hair while I wrap. This video, you could see a lot in it. Your fingers get tired after a while because it's it's really a lot. Especially if like, you have to tighten it so you have to like get a good grip and like keep that grip. Okay, again, so when you're adding here, you pretty much add it on top of the part that you finished so it looks natural and it doesn't look like you actually added here. So just continue wrapping it, wrapping it. It took me four days to get this hairstyle done. So get you a partner, like seriously, because this wrapping gets your hands and your fingers so tired. It's crazy, it's crazy. So if you could get you a partner to help you do this style, I 100% recommend getting yourself a partner. Oh, crrr. Okay, so you wrap the hair all the way down and when you're at the very end, you pretty much direct the hair upwards and you start wrapping the hair going up. I cut off the excessive part because I didn't want to like use too much hair at the end so it looks like really big so I cut off some parts and finished right there now I'm going to burn the end so it all stays together then I'm going to rub it in my palm so it can actually stick together and stay in place and do not unravel They came out alright because some some of the ones in the back aren't wrapped completely, so I have to rewrap them. So basically, yeah, I'm totally done. But like some of them where the black part is showing, I have to rewrap them. I suggest that the color dread you're doing get the same color braid in here, cause I got black braid in here, and this is like blondish dark blonde and like when I make a mistake you see the black but if I had blonde braid in hair then you wouldn't see the mistake as such like surprise I'm here you didn't do me good like <laughs> hello but yeah next time I do this I'm gonna definitely get the same color dread as the braid in hair so it wouldn't like you know stand out as much like right here you can see it but it's okay you only see if you're like down on my hair like you know some people they be like oh my god like who did it like back up, back up. I, I ran out of the dread hair so i had to go get that and it just took me forever i suggest that you get somebody to help you because takes too long like who got time to be doing all this especially like if you got school and stuff like definitely give your, yourself like a full day off if you're gonna be committed to doing these because they take like I almost lost my mind doing these braids 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, leave a like, you can subscribe, hit the bell button because it's and not spring break it's the holiday break i got a month off so i plan on filming a lot so comment what you guys would like to see or you could just like slide in my dm instagram or snapchat i know i'm moving the hair a lot it's because i'm feeling myself just a little bit so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video again even though i said that like multiple times but okay that's it love you guys